So here's how to add HDRI in Blender. First of all, you need to open up your Blender application on your PC. So once you open your Blender app, open your project. And as you can see, I've already opened mine. Then from the right panel, click on World. And after that, select Color and then select Environment Texture from Texture. So once you're done selecting Texture, split your screen by dragging from the top left corner. So once you're done with this step, click on the menu icon on the top left corner. So once you click on it, you need to click on Shader Editor right here. Then, you'll get to see an interface like this. So now click on Object and select World. After that, select all of the three tabs and then adjust their positions. So once it's done, click on Open on the Environment Texture tab. And then, you need to browse to your computer and select the file you want to use. I will click on the search bar and type it in. Since I downloaded the file, I will go to my Downloads folder and then click on the search bar and type it in. After that, select the file and click on Open Image. So once it's done, in order to view it, what you need to do is click on the Material icon on the top right. After that, click on the drop-down icon right here. After that, click on the sphere and then choose the one that you like. After choosing, you need to select Scene World from here. And as you can see, it has now been added to your project. You can drag it and move it around to see the room that you just selected. So now, what you need to do next is click on Material on the right panel. After that, I will select Roughness and put it to zero. So once you're done doing that, now you need to select the object from your project. And after that, right-click on it and then select Delete. Then click on Add from the top panel right here. After that, hover over on Mesh and select UV Sphere. And as you can see, the sphere has been added in place of the square. Now click on New on the right side. After that, adjust the roughness and set it to zero. Then go over to IOR and adjust it according to your preference. And as you can see, if I increase it, it gets more shiny. Then you can experiment with the roughness. And after that, you can try out metallic. So drag it around and adjust it according to your preference. So once you're done setting it up, you can also choose Space Color and then adjust it as well. And as you can see, I've selected Black. So this is how it will look like. So that is exactly how to add HDRI in Blender. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if this helps you out.